In this video tutorial, we'll be learning a little more drawing features. This is called the threaded hole cut. To do that, we're going to make a nut over here. It's a more complex part, so let's go ahead and get started. First off, you can see that it's a hexagon. Now, you could spend a lot of time looking at this hexagon and sketching it out and getting all angles correct for a six-sided shape. Or you could use the handy polygon tool where you can set the number of sides here. You can set whether there's a circle inside or not. And you can just go select your center point and there you have a hexagon already. Let's go ahead and make this for vertical. It's all fixed. Very good. And give it a dimension. Since this is a half inch nut, this outer dimension is 0.75 inches. There it is. Extrude this are 0.375 inches. You all should be pretty familiar with extruding mid plane now. Okay, there's this. We can go ahead and put a fillet on these edges. 0 0.05 inches. The face fillet saves you from selecting all the individual faces at the same time. And our hole. You know where the hole wizard is by now. And instead of selecting the through hole, we're going to select this right here called the straight tap. A tap is when you send a tool into a straight hole that will cut threads into it. This is how a majority of threads are cut into uh, into holes and items like that. What sort of tap do we want? We want half inch 20 UNF. So let's see, we're on ANSI inch. Let's look for half inch 20. There it is. Go to positions. So it's right there. Let's make sure our type. Our type is through all, which is okay. And there. You can see the inside is the minor diameter. Let's measure this. Yeah, this isn't a half inch. This is 0.45. This is the minor di diameter. This is the trough of a bolt's threads. Or if you were looking at a nut, this is the inside diameter of those nut threads. And we can't quite measure right there. Let's just get a basic two-point measurement. There we go, that's half inch. This is the major diameter, this slightly inscribed line right there. And when you go to make a drawing out of this, you should be able to use a little tool called hole callout that should give you all of this information right here, and that saves you time of having to enter that manually. Now, of course, if you make a bolt with this, you'll see it will have an outer diameter of the model and then an inner diameter for the minor, minor diameter. They, it'll look like they won't fit together, but that's just uh, this is just a graphics processing power saving tool that will allow you to have all the information for your threaded hole without using the processing power to individually create all the teeth and the, the spiral pattern. For good measure, we have a chamfer here, so let's put that on. Chamfer. 1375 at 45 degree angle. Select. Select. There it is. And that won't interfere with the threading at all. There it is. That is our nut.